are going on guys welcome back to the channel this is asa studio all right so this is a retouch like an ai course i have this coming up and i want to show you guys how to retouch like an ai manually instead of doing it with the ai tool and get unrealistic results or get results that are not natural so i'm going to be posting this very soon and you can get it on the channel so for that i'm going to be using this video as a case study of how to retouch and get the ai result okay so let's dive right into it the first thing first let's try to color correct the image and get the right exposure for it if i zoom in you can see some rough edge and the rest so we're going to be doing frequency separation as well so let's start with the first two and before that please kindly subscribe turn on the notification button and to get notified whenever i post video or whenever i'm going to post the gift i said i have for you peers okay so let's get started the first thing i'm going to grab solid color which is my first go to and this is used for color correction so see what is going to happen when i use this i'm going to turn it off double click on it and then i'm going to select the peers all right so you all think the peers is white you can see the real color of the peers is not that you know white compared to the eye yeah, if I select the highs, it's still the same range, almost the same range. Then click OK, turn it on. And now see what happens when I change the blend mode to divide and you get this bright image. And you can see before and after. All right, so you see before and after. So it's just to bright over at the side. So I'm gonna double click on it and then take the slider up till we have something like this. Uh, you can see how the beer is white now compared to this one and before so just brighten up the image a little bit so after this i'm going to do some color correction i can see some places are you know less saturated like the eye lid yeah of which is the natural way the skin works okay some places are saturated some are not but some places are smooth some are rough okay so let's quickly balance that so i'm going to grab the joint saturation to and this is what i'm going to do it's very hard i'm just going to select the end tool and select this range okay so let's see if we can you know get that range selected so as i increase everything you can see that the only different color we have is on the pairs you can see this place yellow yellow we have some you know green not yellow green and we have some places that are blue and light blue okay let's try and focus this color on this high side so i'm just going to grab the slider and push it we can't okay, that means we can't then okay so I'm gonna select it manually but let's just use this one it's zero and I'm gonna take it forward backward so it's the screen take it forward to make it look like the red okay so now we have just the yellow color balance you can see it on the clothes let's just do it before you can see and after okay so it's just on the clothes okay so now i'm gonna do that again grab the un saturation and go to filter color range yes and sorry select color range and this time i'm gonna select the eyes and turn off the fuzziness select the highs hold on shift and select more of the highs like that and then i'm gonna bring down the fuzziness a bit i'm still gonna hold on shift select this side let's bring down the fuzziness something like this and it's okay and it's going to select it on our layer marks of the un saturation now we can increase the saturation of that and see how it goes you can see the before and after just take a look at the way it adjusts that although we know it's affecting this place so let's open up the blending option and we're going to remove it from the white side extreme white just a bit because it's if we do that too much it's going to you can see what's happening okay so let's bring it back just on the colors i'm going to hold on up and separate and bring it forward and bring this backward same thing but take this forward take this backward and it's okay we can also manually go inside and take the brush to make sure the foreground color is black and select the mask I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to remove it from the high lashes like this and this as well. 
okay so I move it from the height and all of that so from this side okay so select this as well and you know remove from this side okay so now we have something like this with these two I'm gonna select them group them together and then we have before and after so take a look at how we just fixed that before and after it's fixed already okay so now we can start doing our frequency separation so I'm gonna quickly do the frequency separation for us to do that I'm gonna create a stand visible layer control shift over here control J twice name this one color and name the rest name the next one texture P E X T U R E it's enter turn it off select the color go to filter blow cushion blow and i'm gonna blow it let's say 3.6 should be fine the more you blow the more texture you have the lesser you blow so i'm gonna leave it like 2.7 select this turn it on go to image apply image and under the layer select color under the blending mode select subtract make sure the scale is 2 offset 128 it's okay change the blending mode to linear lines and then start your frequency separation there are a lot of frequency separation tools and videos online so you can just follow one so i'm going to quickly do this and come back to the video all right so i just finished with the blending uh, one important thing to note is for you to retouch like an ai you need to you know blend even what you don't need to blend like sorry just did the wrong thing okay on this i blended the the colors of the um the cap even the bears i did so and also this side around this side almost everywhere okay and i'm going to use the remove the texture right now and then we're going to get back so just some point area and then i'm going to remove some of all this <clears throat> okay so i'm going to get back to you there are some things you need to do for it to you know look like an a high headed so it starts from here all right so i'm done with the frequency separation i select the tool and group it together and there we go before and after before and after so you can see a lot of things that have changed even in the bs you can see how it's now looking good okay so some something you also need to do let's create a stand visible layer first of all control shift to turn it e to create a stand visible layer and this time around, i'm going to create an empty layer and for that we're going to choose a clone stamp tool and make it big i'm going to make it bigger and I'm going to clone this place, hold it on Alt, and I'm going to use it. Let's clone this place, hold on Alt, clone, or somewhere like this, clone, and take it here. And you know, you can feel, you can feel the bears like that. Okay, you can also, you know, just come over here and do some, you know, stunt. So I'm just going to leave that. I'm just showing the possibility of what. You can do so now we filled the pairs already i'm gonna do one about it and that's okay for me okay so now let's combine the two together since they're looking good match layers all right so now one other important thing that make it look more like an ai go to filter and go to liquify so here we are in the liquify i'm going to go to the fix tool and we're just going to bring it in a little bit and bring this down okay and for the mouth take it in yeah so we want to achieve the hair result so this high is open then this eye i perceive so you can just you know make this one bigger a little bit and there we go so we can look at before before and after so that's the that, those little changes are what makes you know the hair high too very very you just see it and it just looks so stunning so i've adjusted it like this and you can see before and after okay so that's not all that's not all we need to focus more on the highs and the exposure so i'm going to go to filter camera raw filter so here we are in camera raw filter now let's start with the basic tab i'm going to start with the blacks bring down the blacks a bit let's bring down the shadows and let's see what the white can do Bring it down the white, increasing the white, bring it down the white. How about the highlights? Don't just guess here, just look at the image, the one that best fits. So I'm going to increase the highlight just by 11 and bring down the white just to make it cooler. Okay, so increase the texture and I'm going to close that. 
Okay, so sometimes I do use the uh, the white balance tool and I just pick the range. So it just kind of balances things up. You can see before, then the after. Okay, so you can see the yellows are back. And I'm going to close it, go to the curve, and go to the highlight, bring it up, bring down the shadows, and bring down the blacks. Just gives it a 3D type of feel. The color mists are very important. I'm going to go to the yellows. So let's go to the yellows and you know make the yellows look you know, like the yellow, like the orange, because of the skin tone. Okay, so there is no red. We have green. I make it look like the green. Okay, I think we have yellow on the cloth. I'm just going to make it look like the green. Yeah, I guess it's okay there. Go to the saturation and let's try and bring back the saturation of the white so they are not there's one there increase saturation of the greens and there we go of uh, this one not too much just a bit yeah i'm gonna decrease the red yeah <clears throat> okay so this is okay for the blues i'm gonna increase it just because of the highs all right so now i'm gonna close it sometimes we go to geometry but i think it's not important here i do use it very well and we can bring this forward and bring this backward. It doesn't fit in. Let's find a sweet spot for the greens. Okay, forward. I think forward looks good. Yeah. So it's okay on the keyboard. And then we have our final image. So most times the we, we, we could change the highs and make it have lens. Uh, most times we could you know work on the leaves. If that's a lady, but this is just a man. So this is before. Let's group everything together. Most time I like color grading, and most time I like doing so many more to the image. So something. This is where I'm gonna end the video. Let's quickly group everything together and group them together. Let's see our uh, before and then our uh, after. Before. Then I have to. So thank you guys for watching. Once again, this is Esas. See you in my next video.